It was very good that the leaders decided to devote time to our collective response to the COVID pandemic. First of all, progress on vaccines is the key to a long-term solution to this crisis. We are making good progress. The Commission has already concluded two advanced purchase agreements and it is negotiating five more and we are in discussions with four more companies. The second point is the vaccine strategy. Whom to vaccinate first? The Commission has put forward a blueprint for a vaccine plan before the summer break and good news is that it has been adopted now with the Health Security Committee. We discussed that we must do a better job in coordinating our assessment and the measures to be taken across member states. Weeks ago, we tabled a proposal for a council recommendations on this, and I urged the member states to find an agreement on it now because it increases transparency and clarity for the European people to know how to uh, move on in different regions of Europe. The other topic are the council conclusions um, on uh, the single market and the digital. First of all, a well-functioning single market is crucial for us. 60 million jobs depend on it. Second, a competitive industry. Industry provides 37 million jobs in the European Union and two-thirds of our exports. And, of course, thirdly, the need for a successful digital transition. Discussions on how to improve the functioning of the single markets have been ongoing for years. The issues are well known. Two stand out in particular. First of all, remaining barriers, notably in the area of services. And second, problems with implementation that deprive companies from the benefits of a large and deep market. With regards to industry, the priority is to join forces in key strategic areas and ensure our industry can compete on a global scale. As you know, we presented our new industry strategy in March to ensure industry can lead the twin green and digital transition. It will be an opportunity to take stock of where we are with industrial alliances for key technologies, such as batteries, microelectronics or hydrogen, and efforts to improve our resilience, such as on raw materials. Finally, on the digital transition, Europe clearly needs to up its game. We must make this Europe's digital decade. There are three priorities. The first one is data. We need to play our strength in the area of industrial data. The second pillar in the digital decade is artificial intelligence, but it needs rules to ensure proper use and oversight. And the third topic is the infrastructure, proper data connections. It's a question of equal opportunity. We will push forward this digital decade while investing 20% of next generation EU on the digital because it's about Europe's digital sovereignty. We have to work on that. Thank you.